Hello everybody, this is Fernando for Godzilla Movie News, yet another addition to my podcast, this time having to do with more information that Gareth Edwards gave uh, at the San Diego Comic Con, this time with uh, his interpretation, how he came up with the final design of Godzilla himself for the Godzilla 2014 film. Now what he revealed here was actually not at the Hall H presentation, the panel. Instead, um, after the panel finished, himself and some of the other actors uh, spoke to the press and they were able to provide uh, some quick answers to some of the questions they had. Um, Seems like uh, some of the past videos I had was that information that he was giving to the press. Seems like some of the best information actually Edwards was saving for uh, the press because uh, some of the stuff is really really good really juicy stuff so um, so it kind of sucks for those that have went to the panel because they didn't really get to see and hear much of the best stuff other than the footage of course but here we go um, he was asked essentially how the design of the monster <clears throat> what his interpretation was of it and this is what he said he said that in a way we approached it was imagine in 1954 uh, that's when the first Godzilla, uh, Godzilla movie of course was made that this creature really existed and someone saw him from Toho the uh, Japanese studio and went running back to the studio and said I've seen this creature and it kinda looked like this and they tried to draw it and they tried to make a suit and they did a very good job of it but then when you saw the real creature you go okay I totally understand how you got that suit from that creature but now I see the real thing Oh my god, I totally believe that it's completely real. And that's how we approached it. I kind of get what he's talking about here. In a weird roundabout way, what Gareth is mentioning is... uh, Think of it this way. um, Obviously with all these comic book movies that are really good, that have been coming out all these years, um, if you take a literal interpretation from the comic books themselves, like let's say Wolverine in his blue and yellow spandex costume and put it on film it won't work but if you take a uh, looser interpretation of it like say what the costume was on X3 uh, the last stand then you'll see that that works there and that's what he's in trying to interpret here uh, they took a realistic approach as if they had already a design in place and they reinterpreted it to a far more realistic standard and and that's the whole key, the whole thing that Gareth Edwards has been pouncing on throughout this entire almost three year run is that he wants this to be as realistic as possible. And he added this too, he said, very interesting point, he said, we went through hundreds of designs and never stopped playing really until the last minute and got to the point where it was like, is there anything else that we want to change about the design? And I was like, personally no I'm very happy with it and Toho was very much a part of the approval process so it's a Toho approved design as well so it looks like they went through many 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 versions of the Godzilla suit it'll be interesting to see what those versions are no doubt there's gonna be a making of book that'll be released and short of the book not being released then it'll be probably a featurette of some sort within a future Godzilla blu-ray slash DVD release And it'll be interesting to see what kind of designs they went through. Who knows, we even get some concept art leaked here in the future. Some real ones, not some of the ones that have turned out to be fake in the past. That'll showcase uh, what iterations Godzilla has gone through. So anyways, just wanted to give a quick update on that. Thank you as always everybody. Take care. Bye.